Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. This time about Ethereum. It's going to be a follow up to the recent video where I essentially spoke about the sell off continuing. That was the main question because Ethereum isn't really well positioned to do well in the future, in the short term at least, because the quarterly candle is only a week away and it's under a very key resistance level. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's dive right into it. This is Ethereum on the four hourly chart on September 17th. I spoke about this pennant breaking up, rallying towards 391 and rejecting from there. That's exactly what happened since then because we were essentially in a 391 to 360 range. And in the aftermath since that rejection, Ethereum has really crashed even below 360 and it's had a small recovery in the past few hours, over the past few hours, but it really is a macro downtrend at the moment. Because essentially speaking, we have relieved, rallied into 360 or at least 391, prompting a strong rejection since then. And this is the high low that Ethereum needs to hold, but look how it's not holding there. So it's not really holding too well, but I just wanna very briefly mention my technical analysis course. 44 people rated it as a five-star course, 17 hours worth of video tutorials for beginners and intermediate traders. Here's the overview for the course. For every tutorial, you have a corresponding webinar. So for the support and resistance tutorial, you have a webinar where I answer questions from students. You have a tutorial on order book reading and you have a webinar on that as well. So fantastic jam-packed value all in one. Here are a few reviews from students of the course and let's dive into the video. Check out the link in the description down below for the TA course. It's definitely worth your time, but it's also worth your money because you're gonna learn skills that you'll be able to apply for the next few years going forward. And this is a space where you want to know those skills to really maximize and make the most of this volatility because it is a great time to be in the crypto markets, even though we're still seeing some bearish price action because of course you can short the downtrend, you can short these rejections and that's where a lot of money can be made as well. So check out the course and the link to the description down below. It's definitely worth your time. But in any case, Ethereum is following Bitcoin in the sense that Bitcoin, as well as Ethereum, have recently relieved rallied into a key old support now turned resistance. And you've seen a rejection from Ethereum. And the same thing is happening with Bitcoin. Previous support is now figuring as a new resistance. And that's not really a good sign. I'm going to talk about Bitcoin in my next video. So expect that video coming out today or tomorrow. Whatever the case may be, Ethereum is in a price predicament where the quarterly is just around the corner, just a week away. 360, or at least 391, excuse me, 391 is a resistance over here, right? Leading into the boom of 2017, resistance. But then we break past that resistance and then pull back into 391 to test it as a support. And then we have a nice rebound, but then we break down from 391. So just a recap. 391 is a resistance here and then a support here. But then as the time goes on, you can see that 391 is back to being a resistance compared to when it was a support back here. Okay, so now that we have 391 as a resistance, you're seeing this candle. The quarterly is only a week away. The quarterly close just a week away and you're already seeing a shooting star bearish candle. Not a good look for this quarterly time frame for Ethereum because this is essentially a FOMO wick. Loads of excitement and euphoria diving into Ethereum, investors buying, FOMOing into the uptrend, which wasn't sustainable. And now we're seeing a pullback. So my whole thesis was, can we close above 360? Because this would be the saving grace in many ways for Ethereum. Because as you can see here, 360 was also a resistance then a support, and then a resistance once again, and it looks like it's becoming a resistance once again. So now that 391 looks to be a resistance, now that 360 looks to be a resistance, we're probably gonna see a return towards the green area right over here. And the green area is an important area for price when it comes to Ethereum. 
So the blue trajectory is essentially showcasing a pullback into the low 300s or even 290. And the whole thesis here is that this was essentially a bullish W-shaped trend reversal formation for Ethereum, this being a double bottom. And this is the top of that double bottom formation. So at the moment, it is still early days in this retrace until we actually test the top of this double bottom formation. Nothing has really changed on the macro perspective. So that's what I'm going to be watching for. Of course, I am open to the fact that Ethereum could overextend towards the downside in the downtrend, overextending in the form of a wick past 290, even delving into 275, whatever the case may be, the closer we get to this level, that's what I'm going to pay attention to. And that's why I'm going to zoom into the smaller time frames just to time my entry a bit better, because I'm not saying that we're going to see a reaction straight from here. Although on the quarterly time frame, that's exactly what things are shaping up to be. But of course, the quarterly is a three month time frame, so a lot can happen in those three months, especially downward volatility. That's why we have to zoom in to the chart, but it's likely that we'll see a reaction from here, volatility to some lower levels, and then once again, a recovery. That's my plan for now. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to be updating you guys regularly about Ethereum and Bitcoin going forward. Let's see how things pan out. At the moment, Ethereum is pulling back and we might be seeing some relief rallies on the way to lower price levels. But if it's about an investment, then I'm just going to wait, be patient and just wait for the downtrend to fully translate into price. And that's about it for today's video update. Thank you so much for watching today. Please consider dropping a like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe to more videos like this in the future. I'm Rekt Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak soon.